Gula. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I think I've always known that I've wanted to be an artist and I'm really happy that I am an artist right now, living the dream. <laughs> I was inspired by comics like Archie's and Tinkle comics. Uh, I would make up random stories in my head and draw them out. <laughs> I started drawing at a young age. I started around 10 or 11. Yeah. It was some random comics. I don't know. I had some pictures, but I don't know where I kept it. <laughs> it was a comic book. Yeah, it was a comic book. Do <laughs> you remember what it was about? Mm, it was inspired by Archie, so it was like about three girls going to high school or something. <laughs> How old were you? Then? I think it was about 12, 12 or 11, something. Yeah. I've been thinking about making a comic book or like a storybook, but ideas <laughs> nahe. So I just make like tiny web comics and all that. Yeah. Literally anything inspires me to draw, you know. Uh, for example, I see a cat and then I feel like drawing a cat. <laughs> Since I usually draw people, I would like to tell their stories through my art. Personally for me, I think like different people have different meaning for art. And for me, doesn't have any meaning. <laughs> I mean, I, I draw whatever I want. You can draw whatever you want. It doesn't have to have any meaning. I guess I would describe myself as a portrait artist. I usually draw portraits. Uh, I like to draw fictional characters as well and turn them into cute cartoons. And I like to bring out the Naga culture in, our, in my illustrations. I think the Naga culture is like really colorful and I like colors and there's variations with different tribes so I really like that and I wanted to bring out that in my art. I think the traditional attire is it's really different from the other cultures or tribes that I've seen. So any illustrations can like up to you little it comes out as unique. Yeah. And I've done some Gender Bender series of Dota 2 heroes and I'm currently working on the different traditional uh, attires of India yeah. and I've done some emoji packs for Pinda Penda as well. Yeah. My journey hasn't been so easy. I stopped drawing for a few years and then when I finally got back to it, I wasn't really happy with my art style for a long, long time. I would look at other artists' artworks and then I would get discouraged. But then a few of my artist friends, they really helped me and motivated me. And that has got me to where I am now. I still have a long way to go, yeah, but I'm happy with where I am. My family has been super supportive, especially my two aunties. They've like sacrificed a lot of things to put me through art school. Yeah. So I'm really thankful for that. Depends on the type of illustration. Uh, chibis, the cartoons, they usually take an hour or so. And the realistic ones, they take about a day or two. The first thing I do is sketch out a rough sketch of whatever illustration I'm going to do, and then make a detailed outline, then color it, then add some more details. Then finish it. <laughs> I don't think it's enough, but as I say, mm. but most of my orders they are from outside Nagaland. Yeah. Yeah, I mostly do it through commissions. People find me through my Instagram and they commission me. Mostly portrait commissions. They want to turn themselves into either chibi characters or cartoon characters. Yeah, chibi characters. You know the big head and small body. <laughs> I post most of my work on Instagram. You can find me in my Instagram. My username is Pink Ninja. You can find some of my tribal illustrations in a restaurant called Restro Ninety Five in Dimapur. And you can also find some of our products in the local store in Kohima. The best thing about being an artist for me is the joy I can bring to people's lives through my art. Whenever they 
see my art and they feel happy or they feel, you know, something. <laughs> the worst thing is the fact that some people don't get the work, the time and the effort it goes into making an illustration. They think it doesn't take time or effort, but it does. You know. Currently, the thing is people out here don't get uh, don't get that being an artist can be a full-time job. So it's difficult to convince people otherwise. I think the artistic scene of Naglen is heading towards the right direction. Recently, there was an art event and I met a lot of Naga artists. And I was really happy to know that there are Naga artists who aren't afraid to follow their dreams and their passion. Currently, I own a small business. Uh, and I spend most of my time designing and crafting products for the company. And besides that, I also do DIY projects and play video games from time to time. <laughs> Most important advice I would give to them is to practice a lot. I've practiced a lot and there were times when I wanted to give up, but I didn't and I'm happy that I didn't because if I did, then I wouldn't be here. <laughs> I still have a long way to go and I would like to improve on my realistic portraits. Also, I would like to improve on my traditional art, you know, pencils and all. <laughs> Ultimate goal for me as an artist would be when I reach the level of success where I can be a role model for other artists as well. Yeah, I think. That's the dream. <laughs> My name is Kenny and I'm 22. I currently live in Kohima and I'm a full-time artist. So that was Kenny Solo for the third episode of our portrait series, which is basically a series of conversations that we have with I don't know, uh, with interesting people who do interesting stuff, I guess. Go check her work out. I will leave the link in the description below. And if you do like her artwork, which I'm sure you will, then show her your support. So yeah, Kenny, thanks a lot for doing this with us. It was a lot of fun. And yeah, good luck and keep doing what you're doing. If you want to check out our other episodes from the Portrait series, there's a playlist called Portraits in our channel. Go check that out or you can wait till the end of this video in a couple of seconds where a couple of more videos will pop out with uh, our first two episodes from the series. And if you know anyone that you think is a good fit for this series, then send us a message on Facebook or leave us a comment here on YouTube and you know, we will definitely get in touch. So I'll see you guys next week. Uh, I don't know what video we're gonna be doing for next week, but we'll think of something, we'll think of something. And as always, if you want to see more content, please do leave a like and perhaps you can consider subscribing to our channel. Uh, it takes only a second, it's free and it helps us out a lot. So yeah, until next time, I will see ya.